Hey, hey guys, amazing moment to have you here today once again. Now that you already started to learn to code with JavaScript, I just want to show you um, something so amazing using Visual uh, We are going to be looking at to set up this uh, VS and the Chrome. Um, it's so interesting, it's so amazing to have this today. And I want you, I want to wish you congratulations on your amazing journey in javascript so um now that we are here the first thing you want to do you want to go over to your app and show that uh, studio currently downloaded and installed on i just hit over type um visual studio code download it's going to bring you here then you have to click on um what you have to do you download the installer if you are using windows or uh, mac or linux you just click on what you are using i'm using windows i'll click on this so, but I already have Visual Studio Code downloaded and installed on my computer. And, all right. So once you have that um, correctly downloaded and installed, what you have to do, you come to your search bar, and what you are looking for is Visual Studio VS Code. Okay. So if you have that, it's going to pop up here, and you click on it. I have that open already, so I'm just going to come here. Yeah. Here we are. Okay. So the next thing we want to do, we want to just go ahead and create a folder and create some few files then we go ahead to set up what we have for you today so what you have to do see you come to this um uh, tax bar here you have file so i'll go ahead and click on file then i'll move down open folder as you can see okay so what you have here on the right hand side uh the key the the shortcut key and you use to do the same thing so i'll just go folder i'll click on open folder uh, so what i you can go ahead to create a folder for your project uh for me i have a folder created here which i named programming as you can see what i want to do i want to click here and open it up and here we are so inside of this uh mother or home folder i want to create another mini folder and i just call it VS code. Yes, code just like so. And I want to put another score because awesome. It's it's better when you do it that way rather than having a space in between. Then use another score or a hyphen. Okay. Yes, code. Chrome two. Right. Yes, good Chrome. Okay, let's just have this and I'll click on select folder once I'm done with that. I'll click on select folder. Okay, so what it's going to do is going to go ahead to open up that folder inside of it. Just in a moment, open that up. All right, awesome. So as you can see, this is the folder we created. All right, this is it. Is empty there's nothing inside so what i want us to quickly do is to go ahead and create um a few files inside of this folder so i'll click on it and if i uh, move my mouse um if i move my mouse around here you have uh, some of this icon this one is new file folder uh, refresh and um code last folder so i just want to go ahead and click on this new file and i want to give my file index index.html of course ML. I have that created already that will be my file okay as you can see here yeah, and the next one I want to just create another one uh, for this script script.js right so I have that created again and I have this my two files. Before we progress to um do whatever we want to do with these files, I just want to show you something. And first, what I want us to do, I want to come here and I want to move down here. I want to come down here. You see all of this. I have just navigate to extensions you can use your shortcut you yeah, if i want my mouse run the control plus x that is the shortcut to you know do this i want to click on extensions 
okay the first extension i want it's just i think just two we have we have to install the first one will be the live server okay live server just go ahead um type in live server here so you have this live server so go ahead you want to install the one by retweak day okay so uh go ahead and click on it and it's going to open up like this and what you have uh okay as you can see this is uh, i have already installed this so what you have if you click on it you are going to see install here so you go ahead and click on this install it's going to install that for you just as simple as that install here. Click, on, click on it and it's this extension for you so after installation or uh, you want to i want to show you something else go to this uh, manage or like this setting icon on it uh, what you are looking for go to extension settings awesome so it's going to bring you here and what we want to do we just want to set up a for our extension that will be um want to move down and what you are looking for is you are looking for custom browser live server settings custom browser so you want to ensure that this is um set to chrome so you have other options Firefox. so you have that on chrome because that is what we are going to be uh, that is where we are going to be working okay so ensure that that to chrome after that i want to go ahead to close close this wing i'll just close this and close this also so once you are done with that you return back and again you can click on the file icon and you are here and if you want to uh, close this up this sidebar what you have to do just click here and it's closed or you can use um your control b to toggle that sidebar control b. all right awesome so we have that set up already so after doing that um the next thing i want us to do is um you want to come here and whenever we are writing our code uh we don't want to i don't want to waste the time saving it manually so what i want you to do go to file come down here and look at uh, come down here ensure that this auto save is checked okay i think i've checked it okay yeah ensure that auto save check so you don't have to save your code manually so awesome once you have done that i think yeah you're good to go so what we want to do now is to write um a few lines of code yeah right i think a better way this system is going to help us generate a few code boilerplate so how do we do this come down to your keyboard okay what you want to do hold your shift to the exclamation mark and once you do that yeah it's going to you're going to have this emit abbreviation and basically is the skeleton or boilerplate code for html all right um, if I move it down, that is something else. So what we want is the, and if I hit enter, it's going to bring up. This is going to uh, help uh, load the skeleton code you are seeing here on my index.html file. So let's do that. Go ahead and hit enter. Have all of this set up. Sometimes some people may not have that in theirs. Why they may click the exclamation and nothing is coming up. So if it doesn't work this way ensure you manually turn it on so what you want to do go to file come down to preference okay preference and what you are looking for is settings okay settings click on settings and go to extensions go to extensions and you want to uh, move down to emit okay emit and you want to ensure that this emit set okay, just scroll down and go to show expanded abbreviation ensure that it's set to always okay always so that so you have that on so after that close this up again and okay what we want to do 
let me rename this to okay my app just do my app just like that and that is going to change the name for that so after that the next thing we want to do we want to ensure that we are linking up our um javascript with the html file okay to ensure that they are well linked up we don't have a css file but we just have this file. if you have a css file you want to link that up in the in the head um tag so how do i do that i just come to html and i come down here under this type that my, manually and i'll do scripts scripts okay and i want to put in the name of my javascript scripts so js is going to bring that up i say javascript is awesome um i want to close this and all right it's going to uh, close this up for me so that's it our files are linked and if i come down here and if i do okay if i have an h tag type each one and have that do then into code okay Yes, go just like that. Um, that. I don't want to open it up here in this terminal. I want to show it in the Chrome browser. What I have to do. I go to where I said my file. Okay, this is it. Uh, desktop programming VS Code Chrome. So this is the file I have. So I'll click on this, and I want to open, open with Google Chrome. I click on it. Going to load. All right, that's it. Awesome. Learning to code in VS Code. So once we are here guys what i want us to do now is you have to right click okay move down to display awesome so it's going to open up this all right so where yeah, i want you to go um go down to console and yeah exactly where i want you to be so this is it so you can uh let me just show you one more thing and show click on focus page okay it's going to that you can place it side by side what you have in the other side so awesome so this is it so we can actually move this let me remove it. All right, so you see, we can place this side by side with a studio. I'm going to restart this, bring this down. Okay, then I'll bring, I'll put this here. All right, great. Exactly. So this is uh, what I was talking about. The Chrome console uh, is a great tool that will help you to write. Um, your javascript as you appear you're going to see that um as you do that on the console so let's 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 have this again before i continue let me show the, you 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 don't have to if you don't like working on um the the white screen you can change that up just click on this setting icon again all right come down here you see our system reference for the team and use the dark mode if that is your preference. all right it's going awesome yeah you you have that setup okay so uh basically let me let me use white mode so that i can different and preference is white great so we can write our basic javascript code here so let's let me show you an example so i can just come here and do log and All right, so our basic hello world. I just close that if I hit and awesome. So you are going to see that actually I didn't spell. Uh, basically, if you want to do that, you have to this again. Dog and have that and hello. Awesome. 
I have that correct this time so yeah it's going to display that so you can do so much here all right you can do so much here so again uh you can come here you make any changes to your code let's say uh basically have this let me push a little okay let's 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 create the basically of uh, um an h2 tag so i just want to i have this h2 tag join me in amazing funny um live server so if you want to make use of it come down here you see this icon go live i'll click on it all right that's that all right this is awesome so yeah you have this now so so basically there is a lot a lot to learn here a lot um i'll basically stop here if you have any question um, you can drop them in the comment section. I'll have another video basically to where we spend more time here. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.